It must be a really slow month for politics, because yet again Kay Burley has been banging on about gifts, perfectly legal gifts, that were registered in the proper way. But now she still wants to carry on because it must be the most important news story to ask politicians. And at this time, Lisa Nandy made her look rather foolish. If you look closely enough, you can almost see the smoke coming out of Kate Burley's ears because she asks a question, gets an answer for it straight away, and then realises she's got another eight minutes to fill. It's a simple question. Uh, why did the Home Secretary organise a police escort for Taylor Swift? To which the reply is, well, she didn't. She didn't have the power to. It was a police operation. They decided it was necessary, and so they did it. Kate Burley then has to come up with something because she didn't like the answer to that, so she just starts asking it again. Only this time, when Lisa Nandy pushes back, Kate's not used to it. And so she just turns around and says, well, I'm not going down that route. No, because you probably don't like the answer to it. You don't like where it ends up. At the end of the day, I don't think they should be getting gifts and treats, but the rules allow it. If you've got a problem with it, you need to look at changing the rules. And Trump's trying to stop driving this narrative that they're constantly breaking the rules when they're not. I do hope that she stops with this pathetic line of questioning, because there are proper questions that people want to know the answers to. Instead, we're stuck with these non-stories about finding out who bought Keir Starmer's pants. But in the meantime, Lisa Nandy did an excellent job of holding Kate Burley to account. But what I do know is that when you have major events, whether in London or in other parts of the UK, the Home Secretary will be involved in a conversation where there is a security risk. I also know that she doesn't have the power, nor would she use the power, to insist that any individual got the top level of private security arrangements. That is an operational matter for the police, not for the government. So who did? Well, the, the, gov the police made the decision. Ultimately, it is their decision, Initially and nobody else can no. make it. Well, that's, that's not my understanding, and I've read the Sun article, and there seems to be an acceptance that that is what happened in this case. The Home Secretary will, of course, make a, a considered judgment about that and express a view. I would expect her to do that when the security of the public is at risk. The, the decision about who gets security and who doesn't is an operational matter for the police, not for the Mayor. Yeah, should the Mayor be taking many thousands of pounds worth of tickets um, to go and see the star that had this blue light police escort? I think the mayor actually absolutely should be at major events in London that have a huge boost to the economy. Talking about the mayor of London um, and uh, the Home Secretary potentially intervening in something like this, the Home Secretary not uh, getting involved. We believe the mayor of London was involved with the Met. We believe that the Met initially said, despite what happened in Austria, they felt that this event was safe. Uh, then went back to the Met and asked them to reconsider. She was given a blue light escort on more than one occasion. Uh, in addition to that, our Prime Minister was also at this event. He's now paying pa the money for these tickets. These tickets given to him by Universal Music Group. Universal Music Group is the uh, record label for Taylor Swift. What do the optics say there? Well, the reason that you know all of that is because we declared it. We've been open and transparent and... Un no, you didn't initially. That's uh, not true. Well, no, we have, we have declared it. I mean, all of us actually have declared our donations in the run-up to the campaign and also after the general election. And unlike the Conservative government, we were bound by parliamentary rules. So all of the things that we've claimed for or taken as, as donations or gifts over the last year, you'll be able to see With not respect, just I'm not going what down we've that done, route. but I'm the value. About the optics of uh, the record label that promotes Taylor Swift, the biggest star in the world at the moment, giving free tickets to a prime minister whose um, government and a police service, certainly within London, uh, gave uh, the biggest star in the world uh, a blue light motorcade when initially it was thought that that was not the right thing to do. You can see where I'm going with that. That is not good optics for your government. Look, I can absolutely see where you're going with it, but I think the question is, should we be declaring this or not? And we do think we should be declaring it, which is why you and I are having this conversation. But it if declares the mayor everything. and the Prime Minister are going to this concert and they're some way involved and decide it, overruling the decision by the Metropolitan Police, they should stay a mile away from that concert. Well, first of all, there's no suggestion that the Prime Minister did any such thing. I'm sure he's aware of it. I, I, and, well, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know, and I don't think you know either, but I, I, there's no suggestion that that's what... what I know. Is, OK, well, you know, you may know things that I don't know, Kay, in which 
which case you can clear that up for the viewers. Mm. But I, uh, there is no suggestion in the Sun article that the Prime Minister did any such thing. The mayor was you're transparent and open about declaring to, what he did. To get me to and he doesn't the have the Prime power. Minister did not know that she was going to get a blue light motion. No, I'm not trying to get you to believe anything. I've just said to you, I haven't had a conversation with him or with the Home Secretary. But what I can tell you is that neither the Prime Minister, nor the Home Secretary, nor the Mayor of London has the power to override the police on this matter. It is an operational decision for the police. Pardon? They can ask them to reconsider. Well, they can, they can put their own view. That's certainly the case. But you would expect the Home Secretary and the Mayor of the city where this event is taking place, given the history of what had just happened in Vienna, to be involved in a conversation about security arrangements. I don't think that's true, actually. I mean, the Home Secretary didn't attend the concert, as far as I'm aware. But I, I, I don't think that's right. What... But the Mayor of London did. Yeah, the, the Mayor Prime of London Minister did. went twice. But I, I don't... You know, we, we're now in a situation where, I mean, you know, most of Sky Donated News... tickets from <laughs> Universal Music Group. I mean, most of Sky News was at these events in these same boxes as well, to be completely fair. Who was there? And well, you were there. I paid for, for my tickets. Um, uh, but the, I paid for my tickets. Well, he's paying for his tickets. Eventually, you paid for them. <laughs> but you know, he's paying for his tickets, and he's eventually been clear I paid about for mine that because he thinks it's eight important. Eight months earlier. But he. So please don't do that. No, but he genuinely does think it's important. Who else went when he is apart paying from for me? It. From Sky. Well, I, I mean, I, I I went, and I've declared that in line with the ministerial code. But you don't. But for your Sky. but your suggestion is that somehow they shouldn't be going. I, that's my exactly point. My, my my point is that as long as they declare it and are absolutely upfront about what has happened, people can judge for themselves, and people will judge for themselves. You're absolutely right, and it's fair that they do that. But the suggestion that the Home Secretary intervened and made a decision about security arrangement for Taylor Swift is simply not. Not true. She doesn't have the power to do so, and that is not what has How happened in this case. Didn't. I don't know why Kay Burley keeps making herself look like a fool. At this rate, I'm going to have to create an entire playlist for her. But you can see her doing exactly the same in the video that's on the screen now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.